Welcome to the project demonstration of automatic pastry sprinkler by using Raspberry Pi and IoT technology. So in this project we are using uh, Raspberry Pi 4 mainly to control this vehicle movement in four directions. That's forward, backward, left, right and stop. And also pastry sprayer with help of this uh, DC water pump and that will be controlled through this electromagnetic relay. So the main application of this project is while we are doing any pastry spraying and uh, instead of doing manual work so by with the help of this robotic vehicle we can do the automation of pastry spraying with iot controlling so in the this is going to be stage one of the project and stage two is by using image processing automatically with the artificial intelligence the system will identify the disease of the plants and it will spray the pesticide on the particular plants directly by itself by taking the own decision by using this raspberry pi 4 so initially we need to load the raspberry pi uh, buster os into this memory card and we are using 32 gp class 10 memory card after loading the os then we will make a uh, programming in python language that to read the input from the web page that is the html page and based on that it will control the robot direction and uh, for the robotic control purpose we are using four dc motors two dc motors for the left two dc motors for the right side and these two are in parallel so that each motor will run at a time this side and that side also so these four motors interface to the raspberry pi 4 through this l2 93d motor driver right and uh, the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volts 2 amp battery pack so in this one we can see total six batteries are placed in that three batteries are in series means each battery of 4 volt 1 amp and three are in series so we'll get 12 volt 1 amp so this battery pack 12 volt 1 amp and this battery pack 12 volt 1 amp and these two are in parallel so we'll get 12 volts 2 amp dc output directly so this 12 volts is a main operating voltage for the motors and for this water pump motor but the operating voltage for our raspberry pi is only 5 volt so we need to regulate that 12 volts 2 amps to 5 volts that will be done with the help of this lm2596 voltage regulator so there we can see the blue color chip uh, board we placed here so this will uh, regulate the 12 volts dc to 5 volts dc and that will be distributed to the microcontroller so raspberry pi through this breadboard so this is a breadboard just to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the input and output modules of our project and uh, this battery is a rechargeable battery so in order to make it charging so we are providing this charging circuit just on the power supply to this transformer to 30 volts ac inputs and then we can see the light indication on this charger now connect the transformer at this t slot t should be connected to the t slot and b should be for this battery so after make the connections now the battery is charging it will take six hours minimum eight hours maximum till the duration we should keep the battery under charging only so if the battery getting fully charged before that time completion this charging circuit will block the current flow to protect the battery from overcharging so after that you can disconnect the system so the first step is before demonstration of this project is is uh, we should keep the battery under full charge okay and then the next step is we need to on the odd spot as the system need to be uh, controlled through the mobile phone so that's why we need to make a odd spot settings so for that go to odd spot settings of your phone and configure the odd spot to project 6350 without any space without any capital letter and password should be 12345678 and ab band should be 2.4 gigahertz after configuration of the settings on the odd spots now uh, we need to install the network analyzer application in your phone to get the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. Right. So this application we need to install from the Play Store. Okay. So after installation application, now stay on this hotspot settings section. Right. On the hotspot and stay on the screen. So as of now zero device connected. So after we switch on this. The, initially the system will uh, log into the operating system as we know that when we switch on your mobile phone or a laptop it will take around 20 to 30 seconds to log into the operating system so as of now we discussed that about the operating system installed in this one uh, raspberry buster so it will take 20 to 30 seconds to log into that then it will connect your mobile phone right you can see that one device is connected okay now 
after you have seen the one device connected in your mobile phone hotspot settings then go to the network analyzer application options lan scan and do the scan here so after we will get the two ip address one is your mobile phone and there is our raspberry pi trading now click on that and directly copy that now uh, open the google chrome open the google chrome and just paste that ip address and call on 5000 this is very important now so paste the ip address and call on not semicolon call on 5000 just go there we can see the icons to control the vehicle so so robot will move forward we can see that and right back and stop backward stop left you can see this backward rotation and forward rotation is taking left turn and stop right turn so the water pumping will be done i'll show you a by a and b a on b off let us see on the floor of the execution right so let us see the water pumping so you can see that it's pumping the water and b two off again just click on that forward stop backward stop left and right so as we are using the four wheel driving so that's why we are getting the high precision turning of the vehicle right so while pumping the motor also we can control the vehicle forward motion stop left stop and be of the motor pumping right thank you